Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode I'm going to show you how you can download results inside of SimScale and open them inside of Paraview to create a contour plot as shown right here. This will not look as good as I have just shown you because I rendered this picture inside of Paraview. In case you want to have the state file to render this picture or this state, you can download this from my Patreon page, link will be in the description. So without further ado, let's jump right into the dashboard or the workbench itself. We have the project open here from the user who asked us to create this video. We click on view project. Once the project has been opened, you can click on simulation run, click on run, and then choose the context menu of solution fields and download the results. This will download the results and Depending on the size of the simulation, this might take a while. Once the results have been downloaded, you can extract them into a folder, then import them to Paraview. And I will show you now how you can post-process your results using Paraview. So we are here in Paraview now, and we click on this icon right here, which is open. Then we choose the case.form file, double click, and then we click apply. And again here, depending on the size of the file, this might take a while. It has been loaded now. The next thing we are going to do is I like to add a contour plot. So one thing I can do is click on this icon here, which is contour, or I can click option or alt key on Mac and then space and then say contour, for instance, then I can choose it and click enter. Or I can simply go to filters, alphabetical, and then choose contour, which is, would be here. And on Windows, it's Control and the spacebar. So we have chosen the contour right now. We show the contour and deselect case.form file. And we want to contour by T. And click Apply. So here you can see the, uh, the clouds, if you want to call them like that. And the next thing we are going to do, of course, is to add the buildings. So we have to import the .form file again. So let's just do this. So the building has been added, as you can see. And we want to remove the walls. We only want to keep the floor and the buildings, of course, and the chimneys. So I go down choose everything, then deselect internal mesh, and then deselect everything from phase 13 to 17, and then I click apply. This should ideally keep the components that I've just mentioned. Let's just see if I have been correct. Yeah, that's the case. You can see we have the floor and we have the two concentrations coming out of the chimneys. What I also like to do is to remove the legends because they're quite annoying unless we need them. You can also see if we zoom in that there's a color at the chimney. So we want to make sure that this is a solid color and not colored by the pressure or anything like that. So we'll say solid color. The next thing we are going to add is a clip filter. So I can say again, alt and space. Or what I do is I go here and say clip, then I choose Y normal, that will cut through the cloud. And then I can move around, let's say I want to cut it here, then I say apply, this will cut, cut it right here. It looks quite good, right? So you can play around with it, it's not set in stone, you can do whatever you want with the clip. And what I want to do next is to add a few contours. So what I will do then is to go to contour. And we can see right here. I have a small Mac, so I don't really see this properly. I click on add a range of values. I go from range 0.14 to let's say 0.4 in steps of 10. Sounds quite good. We say OK. 
We click apply and see how it looks like. Takes a few moments. There you go. And the, I don't really like the color. So what I will do again is to like to remove the legend and also don't show the plane. And choose another color. What I personally like is let's say jet or you can click apply. See how that looks like. It's a rainbow uniform. Click apply. Clip is now colored in the color I have chosen. Still deactivate legend. Then I also set the range to not have this uniform color. So I rescale it from zero to let's say maybe one. I think what, what's better in this case is to go from zero to two would be quite better. Yeah, there you go. Looks quite good. What you also do is to give this a little bit more 3D look is to go to the case.form file. So the buildings that we have imported, alt space, say uh, feature edges. We add the feature edges right here. Click apply. They don't have any color right now. It's uh, white. We say color solid. Edit. Say we want to have it black. And there you go. You have these um, black lines as you can see. It gives, gives you more of a 3D look. So that was a quick walkthrough. As I mentioned, if you want to have the rendered state file, you can click the link down in the description. And to mention quickly what a state file is, in case you want to save your states, so every filters that you have applied, you go to File, Save State, and then type in your file name and save it as a .pvsm file. That's also the file type I will provide you for the render with. So every state will be saved inside of there. And with that being said, I would say that's it and see you in the next one.